Hey folks, Nick the Nurse here. Today we're going to be talking about heart failure and nursing diagnoses associated with the patient that has heart failure. So the first nursing diagnosis I'd like to talk about is decreased cardiac output. If you'll recall in some of the earlier videos on heart failure, we discussed how heart failure is an inability of the heart to pump as effectively as it used to. The pump is essentially slowing down, it's broken, the mechanism is broken. So in a patient who has decreased cardiac output, Remember, um, they might have fatigue, they might be having um, uh, excess fluid accumulation in their lower extremities, could make uh, mobility difficult. So we as good nursing students who are getting ready to take nursing school exams and or the NCLEX need to make sure that we put a care plan in place that addresses uh, the nursing diagnosis of decreased cardiac output. Um, excess fluid volume, we need to make sure that we address that nursing diagnosis in our care plan. How would we do that? Well, if they have excess fluid volume, um, obviously we want to look for um, uh, it, things in our assessment because we always assess before we intervene, right? We want to make sure we look before we go into the street. So when we're doing that, we might want to auscultate for crackles or wheezing in the lungs. That can be a sign of excess fluid volume. Uh, if the physician has ordered diuretics, we want, might want to make sure that the patient receives their diuretic to get rid of that excess fluid volume. If they aren't receiving a diuretic, we might want to advocate for the patient and speak to the physician about that. So a lot of things that we can do um, to ensure that the patient doesn't have excess fluid volume and that we correct that. Also, um, the patient might be at risk for ineffective tissue perfusion. A lot of times that has to do with the fact that the heart is not pumping correctly. So make sure you watch out for that. Ineffective breathing pattern, we need to get that fluid off of the lungs. Um, and there's a variety of different ways we can do that, including, again, prescribing diuretics, uh, the physician prescribing diuretics, that is. Um, the activity intolerance, if a patient's heart isn't pumping effectively, they might be fatigued, so we need to watch out for that. Um, they might also feel powerless because, you know, when your heart fails, you know, sometimes you, you, can't, you can't do a lot of the things that you used to do, like exercise and a lot of activity. So we as nurses need to take those things into consideration when formulating a care plan for this particular patient. So again, those are some of the nursing diagnoses associated with the patient who has the nursing problem of heart failure. I hope that you've learned a little bit from this video. Um, my name is Nick the Nurse. I really appreciate it. Uh, you can see our other videos at www.nickthenurse.com. Again, that's www.nickthenurse.com. Again, there is no obligation, no commitment, no sales, no buying, no nothing. Um, they're all free at nickthenurse.com. Feel free to check us out. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.